China is having a tough time keeping up with increasing energy demands. Blackouts and power shortages have become common and may be even more so. In part three of our week-long series, Behind the Wall, we bring you Adam Johnson's report from the coal-rich province of Inner Mongolia. He did some digging there to see what it takes to keep the nation's economy running. Coal is a booming business in the northern provinces of China. That's because China is now the world's largest consumer of coal. It powers 70% of the country's electricity. Every day, nearly 10 million tons of coal are burned. That's about the same weight as 10 aircraft carriers, more than triple the appetite for coal in the U.S. And demand? Well, that's risen so quickly, the infrastructure needed to supply and distribute coal is struggling to keep up. That's creating huge opportunities for commodity-focused investors like Dave Stroud, founder and CEO of TS Capital. We're considering making a private investment into one of these coal companies if we have the ability to do that, which I was very pleasantly surprised to realize the Chinese are willing to discuss that. You've got to feed the big energy beast of China. And the best way to do that is to improve the efficiency of the shipment of coal. The government is building a railway to connect mines to an eastern port that should provide access to factories along the coastline, but it'll also take another three years. For now, Hundreds of trucks operate around the clock and still inventories are down 35 percent. At one of Inner Mongolia's largest mines, the manager told us he only sells coal one month at a time because rising demand keeps pushing prices up and profits higher. Where are the opportunities for American investors? How do they play it? They can play the coal market by, the, by using the equity markets. There are three publicly traded coal companies which non-Chinese investors can buy and they're all listed in Hong Kong. China Coal Energy, China Shenhua Energy, and Yanzhou Coal Mining Company. Two out of three are up in 2011, and China's benchmark for coal prices recently rose to a two-year high. This is one of the reasons why I like commodities, because I can actually physically see them being shipped from one place to the other. 